So Roger, how does the PIM and personality integrator differ from tools like the MBTI? Mm -hmm. Um, the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, as we know, has been actively used for the last 60 years for people to get an introduction to psychological type as articulated um, by Myers and Briggs as they read Jung's work and they understood Jung's work. And there have been multiple copycats to that modeling in terms of the framework. Um, and that's provided for people, I think, a rich sort of entrance to um, the conversation around psychological type. And I, I think that for many, many people, that's, that element of, of introduction to type has been very useful. The analogy I would use, though, is that where the MBTI and other like tools bring you to the door, the Pyramid Personality Integrator really brings you into the house, where you now have a sense of the whole system that Jung articulated was a part of the way in which individuals operate in the world. If we take a tool like the MBTI and you get um, an indication of E and S and T and J as your factors, for example, you can get some descriptive information there that for many people is a very handy way of thinking about the way they approach things. For the individual, though, who says, well, there are times when I'm introverted, and what is that like for me? I'm not so sure this, this sensing descriptor really captures um, the ways in which I might be intuitive. And yes, I'm analytical, but people around me would tell you that I'm actively engaged in what seems to me to be feeling related behavior and that's not here so how can I understand that well with the pyramid and notice it's not called the pyramid personality type integrator it's called the pyramid personality integrator my goal was to give a person access to the whole system to be involved in a process of discovery rather than um, being characterized in a particular way but being open to discovering, oh, there are these other kinds of psychological energies I use. And richly, not only can I become aware of how comfortable I am with those energies, I can begin to notice whether or not they're strained between how comfortable I am with those energies with how often I'm, I feel like I'm having to use those energies in day-to-day -day life. So in, in that sense, it's a qualitatively different look at psychological type and while bi built on some similar assumptions is really attempting to capture um, a full integrated story of the way one's psychological resources can be used in day-to-day -day life. Okay, thank you.